Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Roslyn. In today's video, I am going to show you how I create a marbleized masterpiece. Let's get started. When I have guests over for the first time and they walk around my home, they look at my artwork and everyone is always so intrigued by this piece. This was a piece that my daughter and I did together and we just basically used a coaster as our inspiration. We looked at the colors there and kind of gathered those colors and I started the experimentation process. I had a friend that came over a few weeks ago and she wanted me to help her do hers so I actually went over to her home and we did it and she enjoyed the process she was telling me how easy she thought it was and she thought it was going to be very hard but it wasn't so I'm going to show you how to do this so to get started all you need is some type of plastic to cover the floor you can use a trash bag and open it up if you need to the next thing that you want to get is some kind of canvas you can use the stretch canvas like this um, you can find this at Walmart a Hobby Lobby or Michaels. They come in a lot of different sizes. For this example, I'm just gonna show you a smaller version. You can also get the flattened edge so you can actually get it framed if you would like to, or you can frame it yourself. Um, but I'm going to go with this more raised edge. The next thing that we're going to need are some cups. Now I purchased these from Walmart. You can get them from the dollar store. You can actually use cups at home because the type of paint that we're using, it does wash out, but I just like to be able to dispose everything when I'm done. You're also going to need some acrylic paint. I got this paint from Walmart. It cost me about 50 cents. You're gonna pick the colors that you would like. My inspiration is this candle. I'm going to do a table decor setup. Once you have everything, you're going to go ahead and get set up. So I'm going to put the plastic down first. Then I'm going to take out the amount of cups that I need for the different paints. And I'm just going to put a little bit of paint in each one of them. You'll notice that the paint is, it has a very thick consistency. And so what we're going to do after we place paint in each one of them is we're just going to put just a little bit of water. We want the paint to be able to flow just a little bit. So right now it's kind of like sappy, so it won't flow. So just a little bit of water to help it flow. Once we get the water in the cups, we want to go ahead and you can take a knife. I have a plastic knife and I'm just going to mix the water and the paint up really good. And I'm just using a paper towel and I use the same knife for each one of them. Now the white, you'll notice that I have a big bottle of white. I want white to be the basis of my entire um, creation so I want there to be more white than all the other colors so whatever color you want to be the most prominent color I usually buy a bigger tube or I usually buy two of the smaller tubes but this entire project um, and I have two canvases so this only cost me ten dollars I bought everything from Walmart I'm only going to use one of the canvases uh, but if you purchase them again from Hobby Lobby's Michael a lot of times they have them on sale so you can definitely go larger all right, so once you have everything mixed, you're ready to get started. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to lay down my most prominent or dominant color, which is the white. So I'm just going to put it in circles. That's usually the first thing that I do is I'll create circles and then I may go and kind of create patterns and just drag the white over other areas. And then you'll take your other cups and you'll kind of do the same thing. I like to put colors within colors in the space and you kind of see the blend start and then use as much as you can of each one of them. You can always remix if you run out of a color and just have fun with it. So continue to just put your colors on one of the things that I really love to see during this process is you can kind of see how the colors start to mix and intermingle. So the more that you layer the colors on, and again, you can drip the colors inside of the colors that you've already placed on there, it's going to turn out amazing. I know right now it may not seem that way. It may kind of seem like Jackson Pollock looking, but we are going to get the marbleized look. Just trust me, go ahead and just continue to lay your colors down until you're finished and you get to your last color and then now the fun part comes 
after you have all the colors um, that you would like on there you can pick the canvas up and just kind of pick it up carefully because you are going to have a little spillage and that's why we laid the plastic down but you're going to take it and you're going to hold it to the left and to the right in the other spaces that may not have had paint on them the coverage is going to start to kind of um, drift to that area so now you'll have full coverage i'll hold it to the left for a little while then i'll hold it to the right depending on how steep your angle is and how much water you have inside your paint is how quickly the water is going to run so just kind of take your time when you're uh, sifting it to the left and sifting it to the right and um, holding it up and holding it down just so you can see the flow of colors you can put it down if you want to add more color at that point you can still add more color to it so you can stop and if you have more green or blue or you want more white or whatever colors that you're using go ahead and add those colors and then once you get everything the way that you want it you are actually done all you need to do now is give it a day or two to actually dry if you're outside and it's fairly warm outside it'll probably take a day if you're in the house it normally takes about two days for it to dry once it dries completely you're not going to have this shiny look that you currently have it's going to be a little bit dull but i prefer the dullness of it you can purchase a spray to spray on there if you want it to continue to look glossy you can do that that's perfectly fine and this is pretty much it and one last thing that i might do that is totally optional is i will pick up some of the excess paint and put it on the tips of my fingers and just flick it on there and it kind of creates these splotches and depending on where the splotches fall sometimes it creates a beautiful texture it's such a fun, simple, and quick do-it-yourself project. If you put the plastic down and you're using the cups, all you have to do is pick it up and throw it out and just let you know your masterpiece dry. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this do-it-yourself project. I have a lot more do-it-yourself projects coming. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.